could end up becoming only the third death penalty case ever tried in the state, and it involves a West Michigan murder. 24 Hour News 8's Ryan Takeo in studio tonight with what we're learning about the Rami Saba case. Ryan. We've learned a deadline is come and gone for the U.S. Attorney's Office to recommend a death sentence against Lowell resident Rami Saba. That for the alleged disappearance and murder of Saranac resident Donald Dietz. The recommendation is a closely guarded secret within the U.S. Department of Justice and not available at all publicly. The U.S. Attorney General's Office will now take a look at the case and has until August 2nd to decide if it will in fact seek the death penalty. Capital punishment is possible even in Michigan, a state without the death penalty, since the possible crime falls under federal jurisdiction. Prosecutors say Saba and co-conspirator Rago Adrago planned to plot across state lines to kidnap and kill Dietz, then steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from his, his bank account. No one has found Dietz's body. The other active death penalty case in Michigan, also from our part of the state, involves this man, Marvin Gabrion, who's on death row for the death and disappearance of Rachel Timmerman. He's also accused in the disappearance of her daughter, Shannon Verhaeg. The death penalty applied to Gabrion's case since Timmerman's body was found in federal parkland in Nuego County. The baby Shannon has never been found. And the first ever death penalty case in Michigan involved a man convicted of a federal offense in the 1930s. He was executed. As for the Saba case, we'll be watching closely to see if the AG's office seeks the death penalty by that August 2nd deadline. I've got some big